Hey guys, how's it going? I know uh, Thanksgiving is this Thursday, so first off, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I just want to show you a little sequence that you can do at home before you eat the turkey, or even after you eat the turkey, to help the digestive fire get going in the inner belly, and to help get things moving in a positive direction, if you know what I mean. So, enjoy. Okay, so, you stand nice and tall. Length up to the spine, feel a little punch in your gut. I know if you've already had some eat, you could be a little full, but otherwise, feel that core really engaged. Arms can come up overhead. You can interlace your fingers and bring a little side stretch and help open up those lats and obliques, which will help that internal fire get going in the core. Or, if you want to with the hands, you can always take a hold um, of that left wrist with the right hand as we'll inhale, exhale, we'll begin to dip over to the right. We want to lengthen through those lats and links here on that left side, but also the right side as well. So whether you have that right hand taking hold of the left wrist, fingers interlaced, or say that left shoulder is really bothering you today, keep the left hand on your hip. You can lengthen that right arm, or you can have both hands on the hips. Just keep the chest lifting as that left hip presses out to the side. Come on up. We're going to dip to the other side here. Working those lats and links here. We've got on the right and left side. Being nice and long. When those lats and obliques are opening up, they also help the serratus anterior, which is right underneath this underarm here, which helps open up the muscles of the ribs and allows you to breathe deeper. It will also help you twist a little bit easier as well. Come back up. We'll go ahead and dip over to the right again. Feel a nice length here. Feel that left hip press to the left. Good. Come all the way back up. Dip again over to the left, right hip presses over to the right. To you can frame your head with the arms. Come back up, we'll dip over to that right again. Squeeze your quads together, activating that core. Up, and then one more time, heading over to the left. Good. Come up and release the arms. Now we begin to twist here. So, we'll go ahead and lift the heart up. Let's go ahead and step back with that right foot. Right leg back, left leg leading, lift the torso up to the inner thighs pressing together. Now, this back right leg is super strong and you want to feel the back of your right thigh lifting towards the ceiling. If this is ever challenging for you, modify by dropping down onto that right knee. Hands will come to the heart center. Lift that chest up, your pelvis is square. We're gonna inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna slowly twist to the left. Stay tall, that's better for balance, or you can always look down to your big toe down for balance. If you're comfortable, tap that right elbow onto your left thigh. Come back to center, do it again. Back to center, we'll do it again, and we'll pause here. Lift that chest up, whether you're standing tall or you have that right elbow on that left thigh. If it's uncomfortable looking to the left, look again, look down at that big toe of that left foot. Then we're all going to come down onto the right knee. Flatten the toes. Go ahead and take your right hand on the inside of the left leg. If you have a hard time balancing out or supporting your spine, grab a look. Or if you have a block, grab a block. Lengthen up to your spine. Roll to the outside of that left foot. Slide that left to the upper left thigh. Inhale, exhale. We'll again twist from the spine to the left. If you feel comfortable today, you're more than welcome to lengthen that left arm back to open up the pack and maybe get a deeper twist here. What we call a little half pigeon twist. Last breath, come back to center. Good, tuck under, right toes, come up into a runner stretch. Step forward with that right foot, come all the way up to standing, hands back to the heart. Let's change sides. Step that left foot back, again, lengthen that leg as far back as it's comfortable. If you need to come down onto your left knee for support, do that, otherwise, Keep it lifted and feel that left thigh muscle lifting as well. Relax the toes on that right foot. Make sure that this right knee doesn't go past your ankle. 
Hands come to the chest. We'll inhale. Lift that spine. Exhale. Twist it to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. One more time. Center. We'll twist right. Pause here. Stay tall. Or again, you can tap and keep that left elbow on the right thigh. Lift your heart. Good. Come back to center. We're going to come down onto our left knee. Drop the left hand down the inside of that right leg. Again, if you need to, grab your both of your block. Slide that right hand over right thigh. Roll to the outside of that right foot. Lift your chest and twist from your spine to the right. Stay there. You can lengthen that right arm back. Or you can even modify by taking the right hand to your hip or your lower back as well. Great half pigeon twist, helping to detoxify by squeezing the kidneys whenever we twist. But also helps to, you know, thin out those love handles there we have on the sides of the body. But also to strengthen your spine and those muscles along the spine. Come on back to center the inhale. Roll back on the sole of that right foot. Hands down on the ground. Tuck on the left toes. Runner stretch. Step it forward. Come on up to standing. Bring the hands to the chest. So that little sequence should help you out by refreshing the kidneys, getting the digestive tract uh, flowing so it should help move things through. Uh, and just keep you feeling healthy and feeling bright and happy on Thanksgiving Day. I appreciate you tuning in. Enjoy. Namaste. Booyah.